Howdy friends, here with a brief update to urgent orders to version 1.1. I've made three principal changes that I'll go through in order. Um, so number one, I've altered the targeting behavior for the orders. So previously you had to right click an open space effectively to get these. Um, now I've updated it to allow for the selection of arbitrary targets or objects. So you can select a ship, you'll get it, or a station, or a satellite. Um, uh, and it will take those as targets and uh, react appropriately. So if we, for instance, select a same plane, um, we will in fact take the um, carrier as our target position, um, but obviously modify it by the plane as we had requested. Um, the, uh, in fact, since I want to demonstrate something else with you guys, um, over here to a demonstration. So the second thing that I've done is I have um, added a um, dock and wait urgent command. Um, this is same the same as the other urgent command. So it, top, it jumps to the top of the queue um, and so and uh, doesn't recall and will also ignore incoming attacks. So if we do a fly and wait, um, so that fly and wait. I guess we'll pause. Um, that, that normal fly and wait um, put uh, recall subordinates at the top of the stack. Um, if we do a dock and wait urgent, um, we jump to the head of the queue, um, including in front of the recall. The recall is still active and your, your subordinates are still going to try to fly into dock because there was already a recall active. Um, but if we um, instead just ask them to that. Um, so uh, if we just do a dock and wait urgent immediately, then we won't get the recall at the top of the stack. The top of the stack. So again, it just moves it to the top. Um, urgent orders, um, the, the third change pertained to, to urgent orders. Um, there was a bug in how I was telling it to um, ignore attacks. Um, I have addressed that bug, so now it should perform better. And, um, taking um, principal control. Um, and as a demonstration, we'll just attack this defense station with these sends. Um, there is, uh, for all of these orders, the way they're set up is it's basically issuing a move order. And within that move order, it is saying um, to disregard any attempts to override it with a um, with a, like a flee command or, or there's an interrupt, there's an attack interrupt basically. Um, what I am not catching currently, um, and, and the one still remaining limitation, is the interrupt that causes the ship to, causes the ship to calm you, so to, to contact you and say, hey, I'm under attack, what should I do? Um, and in some cases, if you do not respond to that, the ship will continue in, in essentially a, a waiting for your response. Um, and then that order can um, be picked up, it can be overridden by the flea behavior. And at that point, you have to, you're going to be stuck in a loop of having to like, cancel the flea, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, simple solution there um, is to just respond to those, you just have to click on them. You don't even have to, um, you don't even have to provide a, an actual response. Or you can um, a bit more proactively manage the um, process um, in, the, in the order stack. Um, but when, when, but that interrupt comes through as a pretty high priority um, command, basically, and I'm a little reluctant to override it because I could see all sorts of weirdness coming out of, of trying to prevent those sorts of things. Um, but we've got these sins under attack. Um, if we just tell them to retreat, um, urgent, they will immediately do so. Um, and in fact, let's leave, well, so they're doing so. Um, let's get them in a little more trouble first um, uh, so that we can move all orders. Uh, let's give them in a little more trouble. All right, so there's there's one that actually just did it. Um, so he's got a flea override. Um, he's got a flea override. We hit. Um, if we do a fly and wait urgent, 
um, we will go to the top. But again, when uh, so it didn't. Unfortunately, timing on this was a little unfortunate. Um, if that comm had come through while we had the f the fly urgent active, it's possible this um, flea override would have taken control. Um, but we went back up to the top of the stack as soon as we reissued the order. Um, are you <laughs> so actually, here's another case. Um, so uh, this is a bit of a problem. Um, they uh, like this is the outstanding issue that I still still need to solve, and I will attempt to do so. But I wanted to get the bug fix out for. Um, the actual, like, there was an actual bug where it was not ignoring attacks appropriately. Um, and it's still proceeding on. Um, yep, there you go. So as soon as it, um, as soon as it, as, as soon as that comm window timed out um, and it was no longer waiting for you to respond, that popped off the stack and now we're right back to our override command, or to our urgent command. Um, and that could have been short-circuited immediately by just left-clicking on the, the comm window. Um, but So just be aware, that's the single outstanding limitation that I'm currently aware of. Otherwise, I believe I fixed the bug and they should proceed. Um, yeah, so this is um, clearly something that I will need to address. Um, but as soon as it times out, because I haven't responded, it proceeds. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's where we stand right now. I hope this helps. Um, take care, guys. Bye.